Lam is Iceland's entry for Best International Feature Film at the 94th Academy Awards. I'm Denton Davidson, Senior Editor at Gold Derby, and today I am joined by Lam's director and writer, Valdemar Johansson, and you also go by Valdi. So, Valdi, how, how did you find out you had been shortlisted, and how does that feel to, to get that recognition from the Academy and, and represent Iceland this year? Uh, yeah, we are just... Uh very honored and uh, you know I, I, I have to say that you know we we didn't expect it you know uh, I we just saw it uh, we got a message from uh, you know a friend and uh, yeah I, I it was it was great news <laughs> yeah. and the movie is such a wild ride it's it's about this childless couple in rural Iceland and they make this alarming discovery one day in their sheep barn and there's a lot of twists and turns from there, but I just have to ask, uh, how did you come up with this? What inspired this film? Because because it is wild. I, I had, uh, you know, I, I knew that I wanted to, you know, make a film. So I had been working on a, like a, uh, like a reference book or book where I was collecting like a, you know, images, paintings and, uh, you know, I, I was just collecting everything that somehow I felt was uh, interesting for a film and, uh, you know, some kind of mood. And, uh, you know, I, what I knew was uh, I, I had been drawing a lot of, uh, you know, drawing Ata, uh, making, uh, you know, few version of her. And uh, also uh, I knew that it should be like a, it should be a sheep farmers. So uh, after that, uh, you know, when I had been working on it for some time, you know, my producers, they, Tran and Sara, they introduced me to Sean, the writer, and uh, we met for a coffee and I showed him this book. And uh, yeah, after that, we start meeting like a once a week for a very long period. And then we were just trying to come up with a story where we could have all these elements, you know. And what's the significance of the lamb? Why, why not another farm animal? You know, what is, what does the lamb mean to you? I think it's, uh, it's probably a big part of it is, uh, yeah, because of my uh, grandparents were a sheep farmers and uh, mm. I spent so much time with them and uh, yeah, I think it's probably the reason why why it's it's you know Atta is a lamb. And the film premiered at the 2021 Cannes Film Festival, and it won the prize of originality, which was well deserved. And the reception's been amazing for this film, and obviously it's shortlisted uh, for the Oscars this year as well. Were you concerned when you released the movie that it might not be well received because it is so different and it is so unique and it's sort of genre bending. It's a bit of a thriller, it's a drama, it's a little horror. Um, were you worried about that? Uh, yeah, we, you know, I have to admit that we were uh, worried, but, uh, but what we all knew in the beginning was that uh, we were, you know, we were making a film that, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a very thin line if it if it's going to work or not, and uh, but you know we wanted to you know try to make a film that we felt that we had not seen but wanted to see, so we knew that in the beginning and uh, yeah so of course we were worried about that. And you have your own background in special effects. You worked on films like The Tomorrow War. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, Fast and Furious 8, that's just a few of them. What made you want to now step in to become a director and take on that role? Uh, why did you decide this was the time? I, you know, I, I've, I've been working uh, in the film industry for so long time and in almost every department. And uh, so uh, I, I had made like a few short films before and uh, I think uh, at one point, I, then I, yeah, I just uh, felt that I really, you know, should try to, you know, do at least one film, you know, and um, after, I, I think somehow after I went to this, uh, 
Bella Tal Film School in Sarajevo. Uh, then I, I, I just, uh, I, yeah, I just wanted to make a film. And uh, then we had already started working on this, you know, script. And, uh, but I, what I think was good also is that, you know, when, when you have been working in the film industry for so long time that, uh, because you can learn something from every project you are working uh, in. And, uh, yeah. Uh, in the film stars Numi Rapaz and uh, she was great in this movie and she was also an executive producer on the film. So how did that relationship with her form, how did you begin working with her and what was her reaction when, when she saw the screenplay? What were those early discussions like? Was she surprised? Yeah, I, we, we, we sent her the script. Um, and uh, I remember, you know, we, we had been waiting for a very long time. And I think we almost uh, thought that, you know, she would not reply to us, you know, because, uh, uh, yeah, it was so long period that we didn't receive any answers. So I, I still remember when uh, we got the call and uh, she wanted to meet us and uh, we went to London and met her. And after that meeting, somehow uh, she just wanted to do it. And uh, uh, it was great working with her. And uh, yeah, e e even though we, we didn't have so much time, you know, uh, for you know rehearsals uh, before so we were just in a um, very good relationship talking you know about the scenes and uh, yeah and she works alongside Hilmer Snide and Bjorn Haraldsson it's a small cast an intimate setting and the two men play brothers and and she plays Maria who's who's married to one of them and can you talk about filming the movie with them you know what was that set like was it was it a small fairly quick shoot or or what was that like working with them it, it, you know I, I i i'm extremely lucky because i i, I just uh, had the cast that i wanted to have uh, and uh, uh, because uh, you know i know them uh, both very well and uh, so uh, it was, yeah, it, it was very nice working together because it was the uh, same as I, I was saying with Numi, we, we just, uh, we talked about things and uh, um, we went through all the scenes and uh, and uh, with Hilmis night, we, we even before the shooting, we, you know, went for a trip and we spent some time on the location, just, you know, going through the script. So, and they also helped me a lot, you know, because this is my first feature. So, you know, it was uh, very nice working with them. They've been through it a few times. Um, and the landscape is also very beautiful. Uh, the cinematography by UA Aronson is fantastic. Can you talk about where the film was shot? Um, what was that? What was that location? Yeah, uh, it, 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 it was shot uh, uh, in the north part of Iceland. Mm. We, I had uh, like, I was looking for like uh, a specific farm that I'd been, you know, drawing and even made out of clay, you know, like a motel. So we drove a few times around Iceland looking for this farm, but uh, I think it don't exist in Iceland. So we were, you know, sending a lot of photos uh, to farmers and, uh, but in the end, uh, my brother and his daughter found this farm very close to where I grew up. Uh, you know, I think one hour from where I grew up and uh, I had never been there and uh, the, uh, nobody had lived uh, there for like 20 years. So it was very nice that we could come there and just uh, do with it what we want. So you can build your own kind of production design right there on that farm. Yeah, we, we used it, you know, uh, we didn't, what we changed was just how it looks inside and also outside. And we add a lot of things to it, but somehow we were just, uh, 
what was interesting with the farm was also the layout because the layout was very strange and uh, you know my production designer he, he did amazing work you know uh, because I went there you know I think one month ago and it, it was back to you know how it was when we came there and uh, yeah it's it's strange to see it like that again and are you working with all these animals that we see in the film or is that a lot of cgi or or what are we what are we seeing when we see you know the animals that are in the barn uh, it, itself versus ada who is sort of this this hybrid creation uh yeah the, you know all the animals are real and uh, uh and ada is uh, like a uh mixed of many elements that we we shot uh, we had to shoot all the scenes with uh, we were working with uh, 10 children uh, four lambs and uh, puppets also so wow. we 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 did all the scenes always with all these elements and uh, mixed it together and you know then um, also some uh, yeah special effects uh, you know when when they are you know moving and so yeah there's a lot of elements there that we had to work with so who came up with the design of ada herself uh you know it was a uh, i was working uh, with uh, frederick north and peter hjort and uh, uh, and uh, then you know uh, snorri my uh, production designer we and and i we we were we have been drawing a lot of uh, like, a, uh, you know, photos of Ata and, uh, but I feel that, you know, she is almost uh, like uh, we wanted to have her in the beginning, you know, it's, a, it's, a, I, you know, I was very happy when I saw the results. Uh, and in what did you find the most challenging parts in all of this and being your first feature and and being a remote shooting location and, and all of the technicalities that were involved? Um, yeah, you know, it, it, I, I, I have to admit that I was very stressed in the beginning, you know, when I saw all the crew and, you know, I, I, I felt, you know, that uh, you know, I, 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 yeah, you know, it was uh, stressful, but somehow uh, working with so nice people and that everybody is doing, you know, what they can to help you. And um, I think, you know, after one week, then I just, uh, uh, I, I really felt that, you know, I, I, I was in, I was so surrounded by so good people that, uh, I didn't have to worry about it. I just have to uh, do what uh, you know, do what I I had to do. Oh, you know what? How I saw the uh, felt that it should be, you know, and and uh, and try to get everybody to help me to go there. And just as a filmmaker, do you remember maybe like when you were a kid? what was a movie that you were like oh wow i want to i want to make movies what was that movie or actor or director for you growing up that do you think kind of pushed you in this direction and and made you want to get involved in this industry i i have to admit that you know i i, I i'm not sure you know if i have some memory like that because <laughs> you know the first time i uh i th I think I just realized it very late, you know, and uh, uh, I remember, you know, uh, I think I was like 26 or something when uh, I moved to Reykjavik with my friend and we went to like a film school that was three months. And then I just realized that I, I didn't know anything about, you know, what people are doing or, you know, what the director did or DOP. And, uh, Maybe she, maybe there I just realized that you know uh, how it worked and and just after this uh, uh, after the school uh, I started to work you know in the film industry um, and I think there I just 
found out that what what I really wanted to do. Yeah. And you know, what does this mean for you to to represent Iceland? What do you hope people see about I, Iceland? Icelandic filmmaking and and the stories that can be told from Iceland you know this is sort of giving it yet another platform for people to to see yeah we are just uh, extremely happy and honored uh, that you know uh, to be there and uh, what is uh, so nice is that uh, you know that there are so many people uh, uh, that is watching lamp, you know, and uh, I, I, and you know also how many people saw it in cinema, and uh, you know it's uh, I, I yeah I didn't believe it, you know it's so I, I I'm just uh, extremely happy that uh, that uh, we are in this group and that uh, yeah I, I think people hear about it and maybe check it uh, you know watch it. <laughs> Well, Valdi, thank you so much for speaking with Gold Derby today about your film, Lamb. It's an incredibly unique, thrilling film from Iceland. And best of luck to you this award season. To our viewers watching, head over to goldderby.com, make your awards predictions, and check out more interviews with top contenders like Valdi. Thanks again. Thank you. It was so nice talking to you.